Hello guys, I've been getting a lot of questions, people asking me when am I going to have the next Ultimate Survival tutorial? Well I've been doing, well, I've been doing quite a bit to be honest. I've been playing about with third person controllers, I've been playing about with inventory and I started to think to myself well we're close to the end of July and that's when we can be expecting patch 0.2 to come out. 0.2 is going to change quite a whole load of how Ultimate Survival is structured, apparently at least. One of the things that's going to be changing is the uh, player controller. So I really don't want to start delving too much into the third person controller knowing that just around the corner all of that code is going to get thrown away. Have a look out the window here. So I'm currently logged into uh, the forest. I love the forest. One of my favorite these types of genre games. Best survival game I reckon has come out so far and it's done in Unity 3D. It is a great advertisement for the power of unity and there's my kid resting next to me asleep now I do not advise that you play this game if you have any phobia about flying or if you're worried about something happening to your kid as a new well relatively new father this game messed up my head quite a bit especially as straight after I played this game I took it on the flight with my son not the, and we hit turbulence. We hit some crazy turbulence and the entire plane was shaking and I had just visions of this game playing back in my head. So um, yeah, back to what I was talking about, Ultimate Survival. Well, let's just skip past this intro because it is disturbing. I don't want to have any spoilers. I've already spoiled it for you pretty much anyway. But um, one of the things I liked about this game was how it handles crafting and building. And that's one of the things that I want to replicate in Ultimate Survival. Oh, that blood on his hands. Kind of a buff. So um, let me just show you what I mean. Let's grab this little hatchet here. And um, should we eat? Let's eat something. Let's take some pills. Let's have a little bit of a munch. We can hold down E and then munch, munch, munch. Okay, so um, here's a tree. And let's chop down this tree. I do love how you chop down trees in this game. I've been watching these guys when they were doing their development videos on YouTube and they've come so quickly from little videos to fully playable games. Um, you're going to fall down? Eventually he's going to fall down. And when he does, have a look at this. He dropped these logs. And uh, most of us now, after playing about Unity, can see exactly how they've gone and done this. Now, my favorite, this is what I'm going to replicate. Click E, and it doesn't go into inventory, you're actually carrying it. Reminds me of a couple of other games. One of them, um, a medieval one that was done using, garage, using the talk garage game engine. You know what I mean, I've forgotten the name of it. And pick up another log, and I can only carry two. I can carry two at a time. So uh, let's drop these. You see that? That's one I want to replicate. So playing about at the moment. The one, uh, well, playing about, but I'm not really fun into animating in uh, in Unity. So really, I'm just using the existing animation of the guy holding the book in his hand, you know, holding the the, the plan and then he just carries the logs in his open arms. One of the things you'll notice, when you are carrying these and you try to run, you can't really go as fast as you can normally, but you can still run, you can still jump, just not as high. So all these little things will replicate. Actually it's quite a high jump. jump. Well, I'm going to say that you shouldn't really be able to jump and run so fast when you've got two logs on your shoulder. Having tried that in real life, I can tell you that it's not fun. And this guy's got to be like a superman to be able to do it. All right. It's been so long I've played this game, I can't remember how you build. So the other thing that I want to do is, where is it? Let's find it. The log. Here, storage. Okay, log holders. So, um, yeah, I want to place this, put it here, and this kind of stuff love that. I love how you place it down and um, you can start building 
see what I mean? Look, you've got the silhouette, and then you start adding to it. I've seen a couple of people have done a, done this already using uconstruct. If you go on the Unity 3D forums, they've um, posted the code, I believe. Well, I go, I saw it, and um, it should still be there. And you'll be able to do this if you construct, which means we should be able to do this quite well with the ultimate survival builder. Let's just finish that off. And let's get some more. Hey, you call these saplings here. Love that, they can just hit it and they just sway in the direction that you hit them. Again, this is why I love the forest. It's these little touches in the forest that really make it polished. And it's still, still in beta. And it's beautiful. And here we go, it's done. So one of the things, you see here I pick up this log, arm comes up and I'm holding it, pick up another log, and it just immediately just magically pops onto the top. If we come over here and we want to put it inside our log holder, um, C, and then C again. And I'm pretty sure that it always places them in order. So you just feel like you're placing that one that you're carrying. But I believe that it's not, that it actually already has all the logs already there and they're hidden. And as you put them in, the count goes up and then it just shows the next one. So that's what I've done so far. I've got a log holder like this and it has eight logs already placed in there. And those eight logs are hidden. And as you pick up a log off the ground and you put it into the log holder it then shows the next empty one in in you know in order so it goes to the next child and then it shows it and then the next child shows it so on and so forth um, well that's the next tutorial I'm thinking about doing and playing about with hopefully someone out there might have a use for it if not well I'm like doing it for myself anyway and might as well show you guys how it's getting on. Alright, um, until next time then, if you like it, click it. Oh, and there's a deer. Hello deer. If you want to see more on the Ultimate Survival Series, click on the links on the left side of your screen. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please click subscribe. It's in that big button that's down below. And there's next to it, there's a little magic bell. And when you click that bell, it tells you when there's a new video out. So cheers, thanks for all the support.